Hold it. Hold it. Deer hide. Bye. Bye. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Repsion with TGN. We are YouTube, and this is episode two, uh, three of Skyrim. Um, down below in the description is the link, and also the annotation right above takes you to my previous episode in case you missed it. What's this? Enchanter's Potion. And we now, let me check my, I don't remember, my Bleak Falls Barrel. I need to deliver the Dragonstone to Farnir. Fargnagar, however you say his name. And then my other quest is find the owner of the Golden Claw. So, those are what I'm going to be doing in this um, episode. So let's begin! I wonder if I can jump that. Do you think I can jump that? Okay, I can. Sweet. Good. Hopefully I don't die. Can I make it? Yay, I can do it. Mine Conundrum Ovein. I don't have any... I don't have a pickaxe to mine. All these bones. I need to find some dragon bones or something. And there's blood in the middle of the floor for no absolute no reason. Ba 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 ba. All right, I need to go to Riverwood, so I am going the wrong direction at the moment. This is gonna be a long walk. All right, so here I just discovered a random little house in the middle of the woods. Hello, creepy person with a broom. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. Dude, you look like you're a witch. You look like the, uh, the Emperor Palpatine's wife. I get so lonely out here. Can I kill you? I wonder. It's... <laughs> oh, no you don't. Oh! Yep, I can kill her. I'm not sure if I should have done that, but oh well. Blue mage robes. Boots. Potion. Steel dagger. Sorry. <laughs> oh well, that's uh, unattractive to see an old lady in a bra. Just ignore that. Pretend you didn't see it. Alto wine. Vegetable soup. Wooden plates. Song of Ah, alchemy. Alright, so I want that. Uh, fine clothes. Under, the, under her house. Under her house. Nightshade. Salt pile. Swamping fungal pod. Alchemy lab. Interesting. Secrets down here. So, what is this? To enchant an item, you must know an enchantment and have a filled soul gem to power this enchant 
enchantment. These are learned by. Hmm. I don't have any soul gems, so I can't. This is not gonna work. Can't enchant anything if I don't have any. What's this? Read letter. You can feel the power coursing through your blood. All right, so I killed an old lady. I probably should feel guilty for doing that, but I don't. Strawberries. Oh, soul gem. And cool, cool. All right, I see white wood in the distance, and I see a deer, and I want this deer. Mainly because you have to, if I want to make leather, oh, that's an elk, never mind. Hold it, hold it. Deer hide. Bye. Bye. He's <laughs> then he hits a rock. How? That's terrible. That's terrible. I should be able to pick my arrows out of his body, but oh well. I'm sure Peta would love to see that. Alright, so, you know, I haven't went to the general store in this game yet, so let's do that. Or not, um, this is Riverwood. Nobody believes me, but I tell you, I saw a dragon! Good lord, look at those wrinkles on your head. By sure, what do you want? I'm not gonna unlock that, I don't want to go to prison. Um... Riverwood Trader. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. My sister Camilla or I will be happy to help you. Did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Oh. Wait, you mean this gold? You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Okay, I guess I just completed a quest. It means so much to us to have... What do you think you're doing? It's a fine day with you around. <laughs> wow, you're one ugly looking woman. You're a strapping young man. Don't be a stranger. Careful with that! Okay, you know what? You're one ugly woman. I'm putting this over your face just to cover your hideous... hideousness. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. I kicked that doesn't Riverwood work. Trader is back to the way it used to be. If I can put a kettle over your head since you're so damn ugly. You're not from around here. That makes two of us. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Can I not I put a kettle on your head? I came here from Imperial Province to work with my brother, Lucan. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. Nah, uh, it doesn't work. Oh well. Ooh, I want the cheese. Anyway. My sister Camilla or I... Let's see what you Some have to Some may say. call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. All right, I want to sell. I got a bunch of food I don't need. I don't need a carrot. I don't need a green apple. I don't need salmon meat. Um, I want the alto alto wine because that helps me. Um, scrolls. I don't want. I want the scrolls. Weapons. I don't. I don't need the longbow anymore. Peril. Foot wraps, don't need that. Iron shield. Hmm. 
Right, Maybe you're looking for something. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Let's see, do these have any interesting weapon? No, war axe, steel war. Iron war hammer. Hmm. My, oh, that's expensive, wow. Alright, never mind. I'm gonna go and finish up my main quest. Till next time. So, now if we go to my map, and we want to go to, uh, Dragon's Reach. That's where we're off to. So, that is where I am off to. Let's go. Right, let's, before I go, let's talk to these people. Someday, I'm going to forge my own sword. That's good for you, little girl. Papa's... Get me mad, and I'll prank you. And not a little, a lot. <laughs> wow. Look at you, twerp. You're gonna prank me? Really? I should drown your dog right now. Stump. Hi, Stump. <laughs> Good dog. Ugh, everybody around here is so serious. And he just goes swimming down the river. Yeah, that's okay. Anyway, off we go. I'm going to run an inn someday. I can give you some experience on me, buddy. Wait. I know you. You do? Oh, yeah, you arrested me earlier. Yeah, of course you know me. Be careful. You see? The terminology is clearly first era or even earlier. I'm convinced... Ah! The Dragonstone of Bleak Falls Barrow! Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when you've deciphered it. Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. She looks you hot. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. Uh oh, spaghetti ho. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, we'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. I do. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for <laughs> me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. 
I'm the very soul of caution. Yeah, you, she, man, she acts like she acts very masculine. I envy you the chance to see this dragon up close. So now I can purchase land here, supposedly. Which is kind of cool. So I guess I'm following her. Alright then. Here's the situation. A dragon is attacking the Western Watchtower. A what? dragon? Now we're in for it. You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. But Housecarl, how can we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No, We're no, so how far? But it's more than our honor at stake here. Think of it the first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. The glory of killing it is ours! If you're with me! Now what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah! Damn yeah. right! It's no fun it's getting pushed up. around all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that was very random. <laughs> no signs of any dragon right now. But it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad. We've got to figure out what happened, and if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out, and look for survivors. We need to know what we're doing. Looking for survivors. Unfortunately, I don't think dragons really leave survivors. Western Watchtower. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Rocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Kinneret, save us. Here he comes again. Uh-oh, I can hear him in the distance. Kill the dragon. This is gonna be interesting. I don't think that do much to him. <laughs> Holy super Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, you know what I gotta do? I have to do healings. Sparks and flames. 
reminds me how good a dragon's at fighting sorcery. Let's make sure that overblown lizard is really I got dead. him. That was easy. Damn good shooting, boys. What's happening? Everybody, get back! Steel arrows, 16. Dragon bones. Dragon scales. Gold for boots. Right one. Guard helmet and guard armor. There we go. Dragon has been defeated. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. Dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragon? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in... forever. But the old tales tell of the Dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Yerleth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, here, Tell us, do you believe in this Dragonborn business? Hmm. <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical Dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, House Khan. You ain't at all. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. If you really are Dragonborn, like out of the old tales, you ought to be able to shout. Can you? Have you tried? Let's see if I can. Let's go to magic. Shouts. Your voice is raw power, pushing aside anything or anyone who stands in your path. Let's try this. Boosh! That was shouting. What you just That's did? Shout. Must be. Like the greybeards on their you mountain. Are Dragonborn, then. Wow. So are we done here? Move on. That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in. And I've been in more than a few. I don't know about this dragonborn business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. You better get back to White One right away. Jarl Balgra will want to know what happened here. Alright, sounds good. Back to Right One we go. And here we are, back. Hopefully we just finished a quest, killing that gigantic big old beast. Good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Uh... I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. The Greybeards. 
Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, Dragon Ball. Oh Nord yeah, Baldi? Nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avanichi. I meant no disrespect, of course. I'll do it's my shout and blow your clothes right off. What do these off? Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Well, thank you, bearded dude. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. All right, so if we go to my map. Um, all right, so we are off to find the Greybeards. My next quest, and I assume that's the main quest. But I'm gonna just walk around and kind of explore around this city because I'm kind of curious. See if I can start any side quests. What is this building? Is Daisy at it again? You'll wear them out. Yeah. Come on! Yeah. What is it? Ask any fool around here, you get a different answer. Mercenaries, warriors of honor, brothers and sisters of the blade, drunken rabble. Take your pick. I've been here longer than most of them. Even I don't know sometimes. I just hope we don't kill each other. So you think you have what it takes? Lucky for you, I'm not the one who makes that decision. Talk to Kovlak. Who knows? Maybe he's in a generous mood. Alright, speak to the leader. Until next time. What kind of weapon do you prefer? I like the smaller quicker blades. Yes, I haven't seen you before. In charge of what? I'm in charge of me and you're in charge of you. If you're looking to join up, Codlack's the one to be talking to. Hmm. Hmm. I've got a bad grip on my shoe. Did you take a look at it? I'm a warrior, not a blacksmith. Can't you just tell me? We Grey Mains have been feuding with the Battle Boards for years. There's no more bitter enemy than an old friend. Tasty food. Yummy. Need something? Aha. Uh -huh. Fresh blood. Hope you know how to handle yourself. Never seen your face before. The 
you're a talker, eh? But I still hear the call of the blood. We all do. A stranger comes to our hall. Would you now? Here, let me have a look at you. Hmm. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. Master, you're not truly considering accepting him. I am nobody's master, Vilkas. And last I checked, we had some empty beds in your vasker for those with a fire burning in their hearts. Apologies. But perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to I seek I like this their guy. Fame. This guy's smart. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. Of course. How are you in battle, boy? That's the spirit. Vilkas here will get started on that. Vilkas, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. I... Not here. Out in the yard. Come on. Sweet sauce. The old man said to have a look at you. So, let's do this. Just have a few swings at me so I can see your form. Don't worry, I can take it. Uh, let's see, items. Weapons. Never should have come here. <laughs> I need to equip my shields, what I need. Do I not have a shield anymore? I don't think I s oh no, I got it. Um What do you think this is? We don't do battle with magic around here, but... Now come at me! You're mine! What do you think this is? We don't do battle with magic around here, new blood. Mine! Okay, so I guess I can't use that. Um, items. Uh, let's do a... Steel Grave Sword. There you go! Come at me! You couldn't hurt me if you wanted to! Not bad. Next time won't be so easy. You might just make it. But for now, you're still a whelp to us, new blood. So you do what we tell you. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Yorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. Alright, so. Need to go to Orland. Give swords to Erland. I don't know where that is. Um, let's look at the map. It's right up here at the top of this, next to the building. Sharpen my knife. Talk to him. What brings you here? Vilkla sent me. I'm guessing you're the newcomer then. And he has gray hair. Look at his biceps, dude. It's insane. Oh, don't worry too much about it. They were all whelps once. They just might not like to talk about it. And don't always just do what you're told. Nobody rules anybody in the Companions. Well, I'm not sure how they've managed it, but they have. No leader since Ysgrimor. Kodlak is the Harbinger, and he's a sort of advisor for the whole group, but every man is his own, every woman her own. Not actually a companion myself, but none of them know how to work a forge properly, and I'm honored to serve them. My name is Eorlin Greymane. I work the Skyforge, best steel in all of Skyrim, all of Tamriel. I have a favor to ask. 
I've been working on a shield for Aella. My wife is in mourning, and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take this to Aella for me. That's a good man. All right, now I have to go bring a sh bring him a shield. So now go back to my quest thing. Uh, bring Alia her shield. Okay, sounds good. My map says it's right there. Okay. I assume this is a side quest I'm doing because I hope it is anyway. Level 5. Does anyone know the max level that you can get in Skyrim? Because I know the, ma the max smithing level you can get is uh, 100. I know that. Oh, I'm just a servant here. You want to talk to one of the companions, I'm sure. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. All these younglings scampering around. Isgrimor himself wouldn't have the patience to deal with all the rabble around here. Ah, good, I've been waiting for this. Are you new here? Are you gonna turn around and face me? This is the whelp that Bilkis mentioned. Ah, yes. I heard you gave him quite a thrashing. Don't let Vilkis catch you saying that. Do you think you could handle Vilkis in a real fight? Okay, she's hot. Whoa, he's up there. We're rough, but there's no need to kill a shield brother over a dispute. I like your fire, though. You'll make a fierce companion. Believe me, I got let some fire in my pants, baby. Sometime. Right, wait for you. Here, let's have Farkas <laughs> show you where you'll be resting your head. Farkas. Did you call me? Of course we did, Ice Brain. Show this new blood where the rest of the whelps sleep. New blood? Oh, hello. I'm Farkas. Come, follow me. Uh, his voice is low. You know, his voice almost sounds like Logan from Wolverine. Yo, Bob. Like you accuse me. But they're good people. Did you say something to me, they Bob? They challenge us to be our best. For those of you who don't know, Wolverine happens to be one of my favorite Nice to have a new characters. face around. It gets boring here sometimes. I hope we keep you. This can be a rough life. The quarters are up here. Just pick a bed and fall in it when you're tired. Tilma will keep the place clean. She always has. Alright, so here you are. Looks like the others are eager to meet you. Come to me or Ayala if you're looking for work. Once you've made a bit of a name for yourself, Skior and Vilkas might have things for you to do. Good luck. Welcome to the Companions. By the way, if you're looking for something to do, we've got trouble right here in Whiterun Hold. Nothing we can't handle. Rogue wizards. I've never trusted magic types. The college is bad enough. Destroy them. Alright, sounds like... Good. Do not spare them your blade. By the way, if you're looking for something to do... Alright, kill the ringleader. Sounds good. First side quest. Woohoo! Alright, so instead of going the main quest to the Greyhounds, um, which is on the other side of this mountain, the complete other side, I'm gonna uh, finish the quest that I started known as... Uh, I, my job is to kill the leader of Ravens Fast, and it's going to be a quite a long walk, but since I don't have enough money to buy a horse at the moment, I'll have to do it on foot, so until then... Oh, whoa, crabs. That's it. Crab. 
Alright, I am more than halfway there already, but I just stumbled across this weird hole in the ground, which I'm very curious to go into this door and see where it leads me. So let's go. Dustman's Carnate. That's not the entire dungeon. Or is this even a dungeon? I don't know. Battle of... S Is that it? Oh, chest, let's see. Gold and em emnethist. Oh, that is, but okay. This wall looks like it could be blown open, but I don't think, uh, I doubt it. Alright, I guess that was it all. Not much of a dungeon I was hoping it would be. <laughs> Alright, here we are, and I have so much. I don't have any choice. I'm sorry. What the crap is that? Uh weapons. Okay, I don't know what this guy is, but I don't have any choice. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Choice. I'm sorry. WTF? What the heck? I'm sorry. This isn't what I want. Mercy! I don't want to do this. I assume those are the rogue mages, they're like dust or something? I don't want to do this. I'm sorry. This isn't what I want. I don't have any choice. I'm sorry. Go. Not sure what's gonna happen in here. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Is someone there? I'm sorry. This isn't what I want. I don't want to do this. 
I don't have any choice. I'm sorry. Steel Warhammer. This isn't what I want. I don't want to do this. I'm sorry. This isn't what I want. I'm carrying too much. Wonderful. Um. After I open this chest, something's gonna happen. What was that? What the? Oh, yes. Yes! You've fallen for my trap! Greed makes a great lure. Odd you didn't die from the fall, though. Most do. Oh, and don't mind my assistant here. He may have seen better days, but he's still more help to me dead than he was alive. All right, let's see if we have something here to end this as quickly as possible. Don't lockpick gold. You relatively painful. Relatively. Ah. Doggone, they break. This is an expert lock. Damn it. Oh, I almost had it. Daniel. Oh, goodness. Why does it keep breaking at the end? I don't understand. What are we waiting for, dude? Ah, 
Here it is. Now, if you'd be so kind as to stand still, this will be much easier for me to do. Oh, and I wasn't entirely truthful before. This is act. Never should have come oh. here! I probably should not just sh oh. Slaughter him. There we go, my quest is completed. Fast key, black mage robe. Alright, sweet sauce, so that is all finished. everything in here staff of the familiar summons a familiar for 60 f that's worth a lot of money I'll take that uh, casual gem horror of castle And shield. Ooh. Okay, I gotta drop some stuff because I, I have weapons. I'm going to drop this axe. I'm going to drop the war hammer. Dumb the controls. On to All right. now I should be able to pick up. Let's see if I can do any alchemy. I don't think I can do any alchemy. Create potions and poisons by combining stuff. Just mixing random stuff together. So, um. 
Okay, I'll do this later. I'm not sure even what I'm doing. I need to get an alchemy book so I can know what to actually make. get this chest, that's what I wanted to do. I just learned something that I don't know what I learned. But that's alright. Charge it. Interesting. Weapon will be. Alright, in that case, I'm gonna switch to weapons. I'm sorry, I don't have any choice. I'm sorry. So, what that staff does is every time I run out, I have to use a soul gem in order to recharge it again. I only have, I think, like two of those right now. So here we are, back out at Skyrim. And it looks like someone's beating up someone down there, so I'm gonna go save them. Don't leave Skyrim alive! What do you think you're doing? Alright, so we're on my way back to, um, to, uh, right one, white run to finish up my quest, so let's go there. Alright, so I am back in right one, right, I cannot say that, white run, I am back in the city, I just ran all the way, I have enough money to buy a horse, which I'm going to do a little bit afterwards, but, um, I want to try smith. Got some good, I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in white run, Yorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's steel is legendary. 
Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Requires three ingot and leather strips. Sure. That's a decent weapon you've made there. This is awesome. I help my father in more ways than people realize. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. All right, then. Sharpen my blade, sweet sauce. Use the grindstone to improve all weapons. I just made myself a fine hunting bow, which put up the damage three more. That's cool. I don't claim to be the best. This looks good. You put time into your blades, they'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Painting rack is used to turn animal hides to leather and cut them into strips. Deer hide. Alright, so hide helmet. Um, hide, helmet, hide helmet. That looks like a lot like metal. That does not look like a uh, hide, does it? Kind of funny. That looks like metal to me, not. Um, Alright, so helmet created. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in white rock. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. I'll take my leave then. Need something? Have you met my father? Yes? You have talent. Keep working at your craft and you'll be a fine smith one day. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you will remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Alright, um... Don't forget to check inside. I help my f the finest See, weapons in armor. Buy, I can buy. Weapons. Uh, hunting bow, I already have that. Uh, iron, I don't want iron. Sanctify iron greatsword. No, I don't want that. Um, yeah, these are nothing nothing fancy here. I can make all these things pretty much. Alright. Well, I'm going to finish up my quest then. What are you doing that for? Uh, wrong way. I should bash your face in after all you've done. Well, that's nice. Should bash my, bash my face in after all that I've done. I've helped save your city, you moron. And you want to repay me by bashing my face in. Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Do <laughs> your good deed for the day. No, old hag.
Here we are. Skip. Some people don't think I'm smart. Those people get my fist. And I've already received word that the client is satisfied. You have done well for yourself and for the companions. Sweet. Skior was looking for you earlier. Don't know. He just said he needed to talk to you before you do anything else. I don't like making him angry, but there is some work for you if you want it. Alright. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, this sums up Episode 3. And when I start Episode 4, I will continue on exactly with... Um, let's go to world map. I will be on my way to... Vastestead, which I will be speaking to the Greybeards regarding my Dragonhood or whatever. So, this sums up episode 3. Thanks for watching. I'm Mr. Repsion with TGN. Peace the Rep out.